I really had my first uh, inklings that God was doing something, calling me in, in our terminology today. It was the last thing I wanted to do. Um, I thought I could do some other things. Uh, God always has a way, I think, of, of closing some doors, opening other doors that eventually uh, helped me hear that call. So it really became clear for me at our conference camp. It's where I finally said to God, okay, I'm, I'm ready, I'll go. If, if, this is, uh, if I'm hearing this call correctly, I talked to my home preacher and I talked to other colleagues and friends uh, over the years that uh, confirmed that for me. There are a lot of things that uh, might discourage you or uh, dishearten you, but uh, it, it's being able to look back and just to remember the first call uh, there have been a lot of others since then, but that first love from the book of Revelation uh, is very important to me. You know, there's, there's a sense sometimes that we close God out. Uh, we think we know what we want to do and we can do it in a certain way. Uh, so first of all, just to be open to that. Secondly, um, seek out counsel, seek out prayer support, seek out conversation uh, with friends, uh, with uh, those who've been on the journey for a while and just sort of, just continue to think, pray, reflect, be open to God and be open to how other people uh, may respond to you. I do think that God calls us constantly. And for me, there's always been a sense that I can't, I cannot make a decision instantly. And so I, I tend to find ways to get alone, uh, to go to, special places. So I think it's important for us to spend time discerning and, and not just jump, um, but to always be open and to know that God is constantly calling and moving us. I'm Larry Goodpastor. I'm called.